Yeah. 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 Um, good morning everyone. So, I have heard and read so many things in the last few days. And I don't wish, I don't wish um, anybody should go through what I'm going some years ago, um, I had challenges with my marriage and I lost the baby. So, um, some parents in my area, um, out of compassion, allowed their children to stay with me so that. I will not feel lonely, you know. There were six of them, three boys and three girls. Now, Baba Jesha had challenges and he came to me for help. So I tried my best. I even, I also, I registered him in a lesson. I, he sat for GC. And then I tried to get him into Unilag. In fact, he was enrolled. <clears throat> so he came that day. He needed more help. And I was not going out. So I asked the children, because uh, three of them are boys. There's a place down my street where they play. Then the uh, two small ones wanted to follow them. So... My auntie had come to visit me and he was there. <coughs> he was there. So when she was leaving, I had to go downstairs to lock the gate after her. I didn't know what happened in the space of three to four minutes. But the following week, the school called me. I should come and see my children what happened. They said the the girl sat on the brother's leg and was maybe you know doing her waist somehow. They called me. They called the um, parents of the children as well. Those the parents of the children are strict born again Christians. Me, I don't allow them watch cartoon self. The cartoon that they watch, I must watch it with them. But the parents said that maybe it's spiritual, so we started praying. You know, so he warned her not to tell anybody. I think he came back the next day to be sure if she told anybody. Said that he bought fruits and she should follow him to carry the fruits in the car for everybody. When she got down, he used his key again and to defile her again after that day that he came. He didn't come to my house again. But anytime he needed help, he will call me. So when I saw the news, people are saying that he has been, you know, molesting her for seven years. They were saying so many things. Why? Finally, he defiled her. He assaulted her. And we just found out. But he never came to our house again. He was dodging me. So when he needed my help, I now called him that, ah, Larry. You need my help. Oh, the joke was silly. I'm, I'm not feeling fine. I, my wedding just ended. I don't have money. Why, see? Why to she me mama? He now said that he's sorry. He should sin. So I went. But I noticed that he was avoiding me. I didn't even know why. Then the child started failing in school. Ha! You know? I will collect, pay for private lesson, everything. And when I told my family, they told me we should pray. Maybe it's spiritual. But the parents of the child said that we should keep praying. They kept the children, they 
ko wa lodo mi those six children in pe ori omo lo po mo waye in pe if those children are with me god we ask my prayers okay no problem i kept on saying that something is wrong this child has changed you know then my family said that don't i have it we should be fasting even the parents were fasting and praying they will go to read him because they go to read him they will go they will bring um, water they will pray but after two years i said this thing is not spiritual something is wrong that's how everybody saw we mountain tomorrow we mountain tomorrow white machine tomorrow so last year, Shemu, all the children are grown now and they are in boarding house. So last year, one of my friends said that since I don't have a child of my own, I should go and adopt a baby because all the six of them are now in boarding house. So last year, January, I said, okay, let me go and adopt a a baby so that i will not be the only one at all so but i was like are we not going to go to the root of this problem you understand so on um, because of corona we couldn't do anything so this last month i said that let me go and adopt the baby because school is resuming next month the children are going back to body house but maybe we will change her body house again because something is wrong you know my friend came here she was telling me princess you have been saying the same thing for seven years yet then tomorrow and i was telling her but i never imagined in my life because for almost 14 years now i have been helping children who have been abused and molested I house them. I, I take care of them. Even women who have domestic violence issues, I house them. I help them. Why? To she my dear, when you come by my jealousy. Some people are not so got see more because is is a popular actor. Is a popular actor. Is it bigger than God? Somebody that came to meet me for help. No problem. I know say let me call him. My friend, now talk to the child again. That's what is going on. She now told us what happened. I was I, I was shocked. And I said, okay, let me call Baba Jesha. You know, I went to his page. I wrote Baba Jesha, please check your DM. Because I was trying his number, it was not going. He now sent me a message that Alpha. I said I want to shoot a movie, he should come. So me and my mom, we said that when he comes there, we'll sit him down and ask him, is this thing, is it really true? You know, is it really true? So that day we were waiting for him. When he was on his way, I now remembered what my friend had told me. And my sister, they told me that we should be careful. People we want to support Baba Jesha and say that they want to set him up if you don't have evidence. I called CCTV company to come. They came. They set camera. When they came here, I told them it's a matter of life and death. They set camera. They set the camera. We asked everybody in the house to go out and stay in anybody's house that she was afraid we said she should calm down because she did not see him again since that seven years she didn't see him until she saw him in a movie that we did together with one mama like that two years ago she saw me in that movie her name she started doing something even her brothers they're asking her what, what happened she couldn't